Hey guys, imagine this. You're at your gig. You set up your Korg Kronos. You go to turn it on. Nothing. No power. You start checking power cord. Nothing. You start doing a Microsoft on it. You start smacking the back. Nothing. Then you take your power switch and you go chick, 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 and all of a sudden it comes on. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the power switch. Let's do it. Okay, for those of you that don't know what a Korg Kronos is, this is the keyboard. It's a 66 key keyboard. Really, really good. It's actually a computer. It's got a hard drive in it. it does a bunch of things. But it has power. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this thing, we're going to flip it upside down on a soft surface because we don't want to damage any of the controls. And then we'll take the back panel off. So let's get that started. Okay, so to get this going, I'm going to put it on this nice soft couch. We should be fine here. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove all these outer screws right here, all the way around. Here's our power switch that we're going to be replacing right here. So let me get those screws removed and we'll show you what's inside. Okay, now that we have the outside screws removed, we're going to remove the center screws. There's a bunch here. That's what's holding the bottom plate on. So let's do that. Okay, now that you have all those screws out, the last two screws you need to remove are these two right here, right between the label. They're going to be silver. The rest of the screws are black. So I've taken those out. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're in. So let's flip this thing around so you can see where we're going to be working. We'll be right back. Okay, there's our power switch. You'll see there's two wires here, one here and one here. And there's also a Molex connector that goes in at the end. So we're going to remove these things carefully. Here's the replacement switch. It's an Omron, O-M-R-O-N, A8GS-P1185V. There's a good look at it. There's a look at the connectors. Right there. And there's that little connector I was, I'm going to have to remove and you'll hear more about. Alright, let's go. Okay, well, <clears throat> all three wires are removed. One here, one here, and this little connector. Be very careful when you pull this out. They're very thin wires, but it just pulls straight out. Nothing fancy. Okay, so that's that. Here's our replacement switch, right here. And you'll see the way it's attached is there's little tabs here that keep it in place. So all you have to do is get your hands around the old switch and squeeze and push out. Okay, the switch is removed. It's right here. And you'll notice the new one doesn't have this little guard on it. And that just slips down, I believe. So again, you have to squeeze these tabs to get that little guard off, like that. Okay? And then we're simply going to reinstall the new one in there. Like so. And then we all have to do is connect here and the two wires here. So we're going to reinstall this from the inside until it snaps. There it is. There it is, nice and firm. Then we're going to reattach the wires. Okay, you'll see the new switch is reconnected. I've got the Molex connector in there very gently and our two connectors. Last thing we're going to do on this before we put the bottom on it, you don't need to show you that, is we're going to test the bad switch and see what it looks like. Let's do that. And by the way, if you ever lose configuration settings, here's the battery. Looks like it's a CR3025 maybe. So it's right in there. Let's go test the switch. Okay, you can see I basically just have alligator clips going to my leads and onto the switch. Let's turn it on and see what happens. It's working. See how that hesitated? This switch definitely has an intermittent problem.
Okay, the moment of truth has arrived. It's plugged in. And we're ready to power it up for the first time. Let's see what happens. There you go. Comes right up. Okay, what I'm going to do is in the uh, in the description, I'm going to put a link to where I bought the switch. It was about twenty-five dollars, and it got here in about a week. Really simple. All right, hope you found this helpful. Take care, guys.